many golf clubs in this world that I would want to join. But this is probably one of them. So let's do it and let's do it now. Hi everyone, James Robinson here guys. First things first, I'd like to warmly welcome you all back to the channel. This is an episode of Golf Catcher Fridays, which is actually on a Saturday or a Sunday, depending on which day I put it out. We've got a little bit skew whiff with it. Chris isn't here today because he's too busy coaching someone at the Open. Good luck jig, by the way. Uh, and today, guys, we're going to discuss what you guys want from a golf course, from a golf club, from a membership, and whether or not I should potentially do that kind of thing. Right, so first hole. And we'll take that. Ah, oh, wonderful. Now you see guys, this video is another Robinson masterclass in that we've already filmed it once before and Chris was here, but something happened to the footage before I edited it. Um, I think I deleted it. So we're here filming it again, but I will show you all the shot traces from those videos on screen now because I managed to rescue the shot traces because they were filmed on a different camera. And guys, who do you think won? I can't claim it, I can't put it in the tally because obviously you guys didn't see it all, but I thrashed him, I absolutely hammered him. And he just, well, yeah, just to be honest, I think he snuck into my house, got the SD card and deleted all the footage. Right, when am I going to learn that it's not two iron off this tee? We've actually gotten away with that one there. But also the topic of discussion for that video, you know that Golf Catcher Fridays at the moment has to have some kind of real relevance to us, was what do you look for when you're joining a golf club and would we join this one? And to be honest, Woolly Park, I haven't even said where we are. Anyway, let's get this on the green. release nicely left oh sit hmm now i have just realized that i should probably mention where we are we're at woolly park golf club and you may have seen that i've done quite a lot of filming here over the last few years actually come to think of it and the reason behind that is that i love coming up here i love the family feel i love the family atmosphere i love the fact that to be honest everyone's so pleased to see you and i think a lot of people do get that when they come up here so when you're going to join a golf course, is that really the only thing you want? No, I think you want it to be a good golf course, you want it to be a challenging golf course, and you potentially want it to be a golf course where if you play well, you know you're going to score okay, and you know you can maybe even bring your handicap down if you wanted to. Go on then. Oh. And it's funny because whenever I talk about targets and goals and things like that, one of them is to play more golf. I've actually played more golf recently here, so should I join? Should I join, get a handicap, and kind of work on my game alongside the channel, alongside my job? Or should I just carry on doing whatever it is that I've been doing? I feel like if I was gonna practice more and actually work on my game, this would be a good place to do it. That brings me on to another one of the points of what you do look for when joining a course. Facilities. And that was one of the big things that me and Chris did end up discussing on the last video that's no longer a video because I don't know what happened to that footage to be honest. But also I'm still winning in the series even if we don't count it. So that is going to be back to normal as soon as Chris has done doing his job. Um, but what do you want from a golf course? What do you want from a golf club? What do you want from a golf facility? Because that's an interesting word. Facility. You see, for me, the number one thing is it has to be friendly. The people have to be friendly, the members have to be friendly. And you've just got to kind of get on with people. Now, I get on with everyone, most of the time. But after that, the second most important thing, is it the golf course? Is it the state of the greens? Is it the length of the course? I think it's nice to have a long golf course in good condition, but it's none of those things. And I actually think that a lot of people will be in the same boat as me because, yes, it is nice to have a good challenging golf course, a championship golf course, 
But if that doesn't come with everything else, you see here at Woolley Park Golf Club, you have the simulator room, which we use in winter, which is fantastic. We have the nine hole par three course, which we do a ton of filming on. We have the driving range, two putting greens, two. What more do you want? Come on, a birdie would be nice. A birdie would be nice. Fit that well. Oh, fits it very well. You see, guys, I'm just interested to hear what you all think because I know a lot of people have got into golf recently or are getting into golf and maybe even thinking about joining a club yourself. So, what are you looking for? Is it very much price driven? Is it value for money driven rather than price driven? Or is it just location driven? Is it where your mates play? Is it where your family play? Because that also has a big emphasis on where you're going to play your golf, doesn't it? Here's an interesting point. Would you join a golf course if you found it too difficult? If, would you see that as a challenge or do you see it as a bit of a kind of tedious and don't really want to play there every week? Also, would you join a golf course if you found it too easy? And I'm not even sure that's, um, I'm not even sure that's really a thing. Too easy? Have you ever played a golf course that's too easy? I don't, really don't think I have. And then you really have to ask yourself the other question, will you get in? Because you see, golf's taken a huge boom since what's happened in the world over the last few years. So much so that a lot of golf courses are at the moment full or have waiting lists. I know the guys at Woolley Park here are very, very busy with members, which is fantastic. So I may have to wait a little bit to get in, which is fine. Or do you want to wait? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Come on. That is a very tough flag position. Oh, just go a little bit, please. Don't go. Go. That's done insanely well. Like, incredibly well. I think we'd be beating Chris today if he was here. Definitely. He's not playing in the open. Not that good. Still can't quite believe how well that's done, but we will take it and we will try and make a birdie. I mean, I can't believe a ball can pitch on this ridge and stay up there. Lucky, lucky boy. So guys, I really want your feedback on this video. What do you think I should do? Do you think I should join a golf club? Should I join here? Should I join where and actually play in kind of the members competitions? PGA pros can get handicaps now. I haven't played in PGA comps for a long time, purely because I'm just not that good at playing professional golf tournaments. I don't really enjoy them. I always go and shoot between 75 and 80, generally, if not a little bit higher. And I just leave feeling a little bit, so if I joined a members club and got a handicap of four, five, whatever it might be, six? No, I think it'd be about three-ish, ish. Would that make me to practice more and actually improve my golf as well as making these videos for you all? Turn, 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 off. Oh! Because I'm enjoying my golf at the moment probably more than ever before. So is now the time try and actually get better who knows right let's have one more hole because there's another couple of really good points i'd like to touch on and i still think i'd be beating chris today level par through two it might you know what it might even be game over at that yeah right final hole let's see if we can make a birdie it's playing into the wind which Obviously isn't ideal, but we might need a tea peg as well, actually. Guys, honestly, get in the comments below, because the whole reason why I've done this video, I'm not going to lie, I feel like me and Chris hit so many more really good vital points. But you know, you've done something once already and you can't remember what you said this time or last time. Um, but yeah, so get in the comments and let us know. I do like this hole. I do. That is what you want into the wind. A bullet. Oh, I mean, I just keep asking a lot of you in this video, guys, but also let us know where can we come and play with you guys? Because we have a couple of courses left to play that obviously meant a lot to Chris and kind of how he developed his skills through the ranks of being a PGA pro. And we've got a couple of really cool projects coming with the guys at Golf Catcher, so stay tuned for that. But once we've done all that, it's your turn. I want to hear your stories from your golf courses that you are a member at, were a member at, or want to be a member at. There we go. It's just position A for a change. Wedge or eight. 
big wedge. We'll go with a big wedge and hope for the best. Right, if we make birdie, we join in. How's that, John? Send me my fees, we'll join. If we make bogey, we're not. And if we make par, it's up to you guys. Like how the chances are, we're probably gonna make a par from here. So it'd be up to you guys, but we'll try our best with a birdie. Oh, that is all over it. If that's the club, we're joining. It's a little bit long, actually. Very much enjoyed it, though. Which is the main thing. It's why we're all here. It's amazing how often people forget that. Play golf to enjoy it. Even me, sometimes. And that was quite close to being good. I think... Oh, it just needed a little bit of backspin on it actually and it would have taken this slope this is quite a difficult putt now we're left with it's looking like we might not be joining john at this rate this has got me puzzled this one quite heavily oh, it's got to go that way it's got to go that way dead pace down the hill commit to the stroke turn turn oh, it's not going to go that much Oh, and that, unfortunately, is not what we wanted, John. Oh. So guys, there we go. That is, for me, if I was looking to join a golf course, something which potentially ticks all the boxes. What are your boxes, guys? Get in the comments below and let me know. And also, would you like to see me join a golf course, get a handicap, play in the club competitions and see how we do? Because I'm sure it'd be a laugh. And we can all do with one of them at the moment, can't we? Apart from that, guys, I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye.